Hi Cancer, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what does your person not tell you? What does your person not tell you? So this is going to be in regards to how they feel about you and how they feel about the relationship. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if you feel if you feel like it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up to my video. I really appreciate that and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that too. All right, let's get started. Spirit, please show me what does this person not tell Cancer? Whoever it is that Cancer is connecting to in love, what do they not tell about? Why do they, what do they not tell Cancer about how they feel about Cancer and how they feel about the relationship? Sorry for the noise. All right, Cancer, we have Justice, the Chariot in Reverse, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So, Cancer, this person's holding back from offering you this cup of love here um, we have the chariot in reverse which means that they're holding back they're not taking any action um, but they really want to move towards you they really want to communicate with you they really want to take action towards you I mean it's it's what they desire but they're not actually doing that we have here the justice card you might be dealing with a Libra for some of you So I feel like this person is trying to think more with their um, with their mind instead of with their heart, you know. Um, even though they do have a lot of desire for you, they feel like um, there's a lot of things that they have to consider first before taking any action. So they're like weighing here. You can see the scale. They're kind of weighing the pros and cons of of taking action you know yeah. they're trying to decide you know if if this relationship is um a good idea for them if it's a practical thing for them to do because i feel like this person is thinking more practically here instead of emotionally They might be dealing with some issues in their life that are being a challenge for them, that are restricting them. They might have some sort of restrictions in their life that are not really allowing them to have that freedom to just, you know, do whatever they want. They might feel like they have other responsibilities that they have to take care of. Because I do feel like they really want to be with you, but it's like there's something that is heavy on them here. That is weighing them down and restricting them. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify. Again, sorry for the noise. It's like construction, I think, outside. Spirit, clarify the justice card, please. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse again. 
And we have the Queen of Cups upright. Okay. So like I was saying, this person has a lot of love for you. They have a lot of strong feelings for you. They feel a strong connection to you. Um, and it's like, again, they want to be with you. They, you know, fantasize about being with you. But it's with the Eight of Wands in reverse, which means that they're not speaking up. They're not, they're not telling you how they really feel. They're holding back from communicating. Okay, let's clarify the Chariot now. Spirit, tell me more about the Chariot in reverse. We have the Emperor in reverse and the Four of Wands upright. For some of you, this, person's, this person is already married. This is a card of marriage. They're already married, they're already engaged, or they're already in some sort of commitment. Um, they're, in, they're already in some sort of relationship and that's what's preventing them from moving towards you, okay? That's going to be for some of you. Yeah, the emperor means that, um, that they have responsibilities. They have other responsibilities that are, that are not allowing them to be free. Um, they have other obligations. Um, they feel like they can't offer you a relationship right now, even though that's what they really want to do. They feel like they just don't have the space or the time or they're just not available in some way to offer you a relationship. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. And we have the death card and temperance. Okay, so it's like something has to end for this person first before they can have a new beginning with you, which is the Ace of Cups here. It's like something in their life has to, you know, they have to end things with something here. So again, it could be an, another relationship that they have. They have to let go of something in order to have a new beginning with you. We have the Temperance card, which is the card of um, time. So it's like it, it hasn't, it's not the right time yet. They're still, they're going through some sort of process of transformation and change um, that's taking up time. And it's like they're waiting for that perfect time that they can offer you a new beginning in love once they go through the transformation that they need to go through okay let's clarify the eight of wands here We have the Three of Wands in reverse and the Three of Pentacles upright. So I feel like this person is um, focusing on their work, on their job, on their finances. They're, they're kind of distracting themselves, keeping themselves busy, um, trying to not think about you and trying to avoid making any impulsive decisions in regards to you. But I, I, do, I do also feel with the Three of Pentacles that this person is, you know, working on, on being able to, to have a relationship with you. I do feel like that is their objective, to have a relationship with you. And the Three of Pentacles means that they're organizing themselves and they're, um, you know, doing, doing whatever it is that they need to do in order for them to have the stability that they need 
in order to um, uh, have a relationship with you. Yeah. Okay, that's everything I see there, Cancer. Let me know if any of this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Cancer. Take care.